So, CPU use was a 5900X with PBO enabled, XMP was also enabled, and the limits were unlocked as well in the BIOS. So it would hit the its peak at whatever voltage it wanted. And these are my standard testing methods as I always use Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. So for the Power Loop 2FX, the Cinebench idles were 32 Celsius with a max of 82 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 32 Celsius with a max of 80. Blender BMW idles were 35 Celsius. The max was an 80 Celsius. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 35 and the max was a 73 Celsius. For the Frozen Prism from Thermalrite, Cinebench R23, the idles were 35, max was an 82. Blender Classroom, the idles were 35, max was an 80. Blender BMW, the idles were 36 and the max was an 81. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 37 and the max was a 77 Celsius. Now for the Inwin MR360. The Cinebench R23 idles were 34 Celsius with a max of 81. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius with a max of 79. Blender BMW, idles were 35 Celsius, max was a 78 Celsius. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 35 and the max was a 70 Celsius. Okay, so which brand won? Look, something I will say is the beginning of my testing, I did put the MR36 uh, at the beginning of my testing, so the ambient air was a lot cooler. And remember that your environment when it comes to the ambient air outside and inside will start to go up or down depending on the actual temperature outside so the inwind was tested first then it was the frozen prism then i tested the power loop 2fx now all three have their cons and their pros i would say for the inwind is that pump placement that is something that msi had problems with because of gunk up in the pump and also you can't really place that at the top of your case because the pump would be above where the where the block is so that isn't the ideal position for that aio be quiet aio and the thermal right bio uh, aio they are different as well like i said before be quiet uses their pump on the tubes and with this new v version of the frozen line from thermal right this time they didn't use a pump on the tubes they use a, tum a pump inside the block housing itself so now remember all three are within a few degrees that could be a margin of error like i said while you're testing especially in a room the heat the temperatures are going to fluctuate between each test so take that as you want as you will and remember that during gameplay, you're not going to exceed any of these type of temperatures. This is just the worst case scenario. Me pushing the AIOs to what the CPU is capable of and seeing how they handle it. When it comes to the aesthetics, me personally, I do prefer the Be Quiet. I love the Lightwing fans. And of course, the performance is there. And also that is a lot quieter than both the inwin aio yes they definitely have improved the fans included with their aios the previous mercury line they were loud they sounded like a jet engine so this is definitely an improvement and it does look rather nice as well Thermorite, I'm actually used to the aios they generally do aios that are very loud but the performance is there. So remember, there's going to be pros and cons between each brand. One brand is going to have silent optimized AIOs. The other is going to be stat pressure. The other then is just going to be as much air through the fins as possible for the best performance. So it's basically a tie between all three. Of course, the in-win temps were a little bit lower because, like I said, I started off with the in-win AIO. So the room temp was slightly lower while that was testing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really missed the first opportunity when it came to battle of the brands at that particular time in 
that time I didn't really have the amount of stuff I've got now to make these types of these type of content videos but I brought it back so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe because I've got how to water cool your gaming PC that is coming next week that is why I've done this video for this week as well so I've got until Thursday all the way till next Thursday to do that how to water cool your PC build so as always, this is Richard Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good bye.